Welcome back, geometry students. This is 9-2, um, and, and today we're, we're just kind of extending this idea of surface area. Um, but today, this one is all about cylinders. That This section's all about cylinders. We talked a fair amount in part one about prisms. Um, we're gonna kind of look at cylinders. And cylinders are nothing more than a very, very specific type of prism. They just have one distinct feature, and that is that the bases will be circles, okay? So everything and anything that you remember from circles um, will come into play here. So please be aware of this as it kind of we look. So now, a cylinder um, looks like this, okay? So a cylinder has got two circle bases, as in both bases are circles, okay? So radius is involved here. And then it technically has one lateral face, okay, because this is technically one side rounded all the way around, okay? So, so this, um, this would be considered a right cylinder, and this one would be considered an oblique cylinder, okay? So straight up and down versus uh, looks like somebody pushed over. So... That's kind of what a cylinder is going to look like. Okay, it's got two circle bases and one lateral. So if I look, so if I look over here on the right, this would be my net. So if I cut that apart and unfolded it, that is going to be what my cylinder looks like. Okay, so I've got the two bases and then my lateral area, this area here, please note, it ends up being the circumference times the height. So, on, and on some level, I really hope that makes sense because my distance around the circle, and we talked about what's the distance around the circle. If I was going to walk around the circle, how far would I go? Well, that's going to be 2 pi r. So now if I cut this open, you can think about like peeling the label off a soup can, and I lay it flat, that's what this is going to look like. So my lateral area is nothing more, okay, so if I kind of compare it to, you know, I took the perimeter times the height, but the perimeter of a circle is nothing more than the circumference. Okay, so that really is just going to be 2 pi r times height. Okay, so it's very, very specific. You're talking about circles, okay, so pi is going to be involved. So that's my lateral area just 2 pi r times whatever my height is. Okay, so obviously whatever side is not a circle, it's going to be uh, my lateral, and that's going to give me my height. So then surface area, you know, we talked about before, surface area is just lateral area times twice, or plus twice the base. Well, my lateral area is just 2 pi r times h plus 2 pi r squared. Where'd I get pi r squared, you ask? Pi r squared is nothing more than the area of a circle. All right, pi r squared. So 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. That is going to be my surface area. So these, put circles around, put stars around them. These are kind of the big concepts you need to be able to um, play with today. So if I take a look here. Okay, my, my shape is a cylinder. Okay, my diameter is 15 millimeters. My height is going to be 18 millimeters. So my lateral area, you know, that's just gonna be two pi r times h. So otherwise known as my diameter times h. So that's gonna be 15 pi times 18. Okay, 15 is my diameter. Diameter, re, re, recall, is double the radius. Okay, so put that together. That's 270 pi. When I multiply that all together, that's 848.23 millimeters squared. Surface area is going to be just adding twice the base, okay? So that's my surface area. So I take two, but now for here, I take pi r squared. So now here I need the radius. So 
So it's going to be 7.5 squared. So a fair amount of calculator mashing later. And I get 353.43. And I add that to 848.23. And that's just going to be 1201.66 millimeters squared. That's my answer. So I take my lateral area plus my, my base area, and that, include, that gives me my total surface area. And that's it. That's it. So now here, I've got what appears to be somewhat of like a Pringles can, or, or if you don't like that, then something else cylindrical. So my radius is five, my height is nine. So that's gonna be, so my lateral area, remember is two pi r times h. <clears throat> Surface area is gonna be two pi r squared. All right, so my base area, so 2 times pi times 5 times 9. Okay, so that's just 90 pi. So that would be 282.74. So this ends up being... 2 times pi times 5 squared. So this just becomes 50 pi. So this becomes 157.08. So this becomes my lateral area. Then my surface area is those two added together. So that's going to be 439.82. That's it. That's my answer. So now they don't even give us a picture anymore. We just got to kind of make do with what they give us, what they tell us. So a diameter is 6 and the height is 4.8. So if the diameter is 6, the radius will be 3. So lateral area, 2 pi r times height or diameter times height. So it would be 6 pi times 4.8. So if I want to do some calculator mashing, and just kind of put what I get, that's going to be 90.48. So now for surface area, I'm going to take this answer plus twice the area of my base. So my base is going to be pi r squared. My radius is 3, so that's going to be 9 pi. So 9 pi times 2 is going to be 56.55. So now I add that to my 90.48, and I get 147.029. That's a 0, not a 6 centimeters squared. <clears throat> so now if I break it up and then add them together, this actually doesn't become too complicated. Okay, it doesn't. So, if I look here, what is the radius of my soup can? Well, this is where this number is going to come in very, very handy, okay? Because remember, this is my circumference, so this actually represents 2 pi r, and it's looking for the radius. So, 2 pi r is going to equal 15.7. So now if I just simply divide both sides by 2 pi, that is a fancy way of saying 1. So r will just be equal to 15.7 divided by 2 pi. So when I get that, I get about 2.498 or approximately 2.5 inches. And that's it. That's it. Okay, so put, make sure you write this down in, in your, on, your, on your formula sheet 
um, you know, lateral area is going to be 2 pi r times height. Surface area is just going to be lateral area plus twice the base. Big B is just going to be area of your base. Whatever shape that is, in this case, it's going to be 2 times pi r squared. Okay, so however you want to write it, that's going to be the important part. Okay, thank you.